moving on. The next award is the More of These Award, which is essentially... I'd also like to nominate Laura Croft's hair. <laughs> more, of <these laughs> more of these hairs. <laughs> we need more of these hairs yeah, everywhere. This is the mid-tier game of the year. It wanted to be AAA, but wasn't quite there, and it was better because it didn't try to be. So this is... We're just... As games grow and, well, shrink with indie indie games, like we're trying to f- still appreciate those middle-tier games that, don't, that are probably an endangered species at this point. So um, it's kind of a gray area. We can make yeah. the calls as to what we think are um, middle-tier games, but some of our nominees, XCOM, well, the Bureau, I forget the name of it, that one. It's like Declassified Yeah, is in there somewhere. Yeah. It's not even the name of the game, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <The> <laughs> you one, know what we're talking about. The one with the hats <laughs> and the, yeah, the, 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 the old timey one. Yeah, that one. Shadow Warrior. <laughs> Stupid game. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? Blood Dragon. Uh, what a stupidly great, great game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that de- Defiance. I don't Defiance. think they intended it to be. It didn't um, intend it to be middle tier. Um, let's see. Actually, I think V brings up a good point. Remember me. Oh, yeah. I don't think Remember Me got nominated. But it did we'll not get nominated. We've we'll already talked about it enough. So. Um, let's see. Payday 2. Yeah. Oh, we don't have Ghost. <laughs> um, just because you're sitting next to me. Splinter Cell Blacklist. Although I think they think that's AAA. But I, I, I thought about that when I was putting it on the list. Yeah, yeah. Wait, do you have, have to think it is or do we have to think it is and then realize it's not? It's yeah, our, this is our awards. So Let's not argue game shit. Let's just get the list out. <laughs> we do what we want. It's a gray uh, area of what's I'd say the same thing for Pikmin 3. That's, uh, I don't know if that's mid, mid, mid-tier. I was thinking like if you <laughs> yeah, threw out no Nintendo, Nintendo characters and you were are... like Captain Olimar and that stuff, people would be like, what? Like, people oh, cool, know I'll Mario. Defiance twice. Yeah, but that makes it sound like Nintendo is a uh, middle-tier publisher. Yeah, oh, we'll come back to it. Metal Gear Rising. Damn you, Jordan. <laughs> Revenge. They did make their own console. Uh, <laughs> Call of War is stop, stop being right. <laughs> Wonderful 101. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful 101. Every uh, every game Platinum makes, let's just put all that on there. And Fire Emblem. What else am I missing here? I think that's yeah, that's that's our list. Is that's there anything else it. you guys can think of mid tier, or if you're not even sure if it's mid tier, go ahead, we can we can make some calls here. But I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Pikmin. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, that's fine. Um, so so Dragon, else? Dragon's Crown. So these are these are mid tier games, right? Yes. Dragon's is, so Crown. is Splinter Cell really not AAA? Oh, Dragon's Crown didn't I, make it. That, that was, I mean, that was kind of what I was thinking. Dragon's Crown. I feel like it's supposed to be AAA. Dragon's Crown. Yeah. yeah. Or replace. Yeah, it replace off. Blacklist. Wonderful whoop whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Arma 3. Same with, same with Metal you know Gear. Is, is Metal Gear for supposed to be AAA? For you, buddy. I would argue... Did I move that? I would argue Metal Gear Rising... Uh, well, is it, it wanted a, to be. I don't think that it is a AAA it's, game. It's... Because it's, it's from Platinum. And they make, like... They're kind of, like, in this weird niche of... Like, they make these kind of games that take a while to pick up how to play them. They have a crowd. Yeah. I think the people that are playing... Want games like Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, Ooh. 4 even aren't playing Injustice. Revengeance That's true. for that Injustice. same thrill. All right, so I can get behind that. What about Walking Dead? What, we're moving Revengeance because of not no, being middle enough? I put an argument. Yeah, Walking Dead, we probably need to wait till the whole Walking series Dead, is yeah. done. Walking Dead and yeah. Wolf Among Us are not eligible this year. Yeah, I wouldn't put those on I, there. Yeah, I don't think the Bureau, now that I think of it, I don't. I wouldn't. I hear the Bureau. It well, wait, why AAA. are we taking... Oh. Yeah. Keep moving it up. Okay, so that's. I think that's our list, though. Injustice. Okay. Is there a game to Arma Three? I mean, is there yeah. actual like single player? No, I think it's all. But that's there's plenty of just multiplayer games. Huh. Oh wait, didn't we get rid of Splinter Cell? I thought it. I thought it had like missions and stuff. You do. Arma yeah, Three. It it's probably I'm like yeah. training. Yeah. I'm not gonna something. pretend to know. Yeah, no, they have like you know infantry. I'm putting this. it on the list for for Dean because we can't talk about Guild Wars Two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, we can. <laughs> now I want to really badly. <laughs> All right. The urge is there. Yeah. So let's, do we need to get stuff off this list? You need to get this stuff off this what, list. What the hell does more of defiance mean? 
you well, want. And, and to me, Defiance was not a mid-tier yeah. game. They wanted it to be bigger, and I don't know if, uh, yeah, t- compared to the other and ones, it's got, and it's got too many flaws and presentation. Like it, it, they put a lot of time into that. And they not... had a fucking show yeah. on Sci-Fi Channel. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I would, I would take Remember Me off. It was, you, I mean, you guys, Jordan, you love it, right? Like, <laughs> I or don't. I can't tell if you're sarcastic or not. No, like I said before, it's because I literally went Bioshock Infinite, Tomb Raider, then Remember Me. <laughs> yeah. it, just, it has, <laughs> like, it I, has feel like, one, I feel like that really hurt my, my level of enjoyment with it. They did one part see. of it really well with the mem- memory manipulation yeah. stuff, but outside of that... Oh, the game looked really great. Yeah, I mean, it, it, looks, it looks good. Like, visually, it's, the graphics are good. Yeah. The environment's really good. It's but, just, it's just you know, the, court. It's just the story is kind of boring. Quarters into yeah. into a fight room to a quarter to a fight room to a quarter to a boss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would, I would actually take off Fire Emblem for I just Nintendo's so weird. Like they, they're not given that middle tier focus like budget. Yeah, kind of like what Jordan said. I, I, they they make Fire Emblems. This yeah. There's been Fire Emblems before this. There will probably be and some like, after. So I've never would, played one, but all those like. JRPG games, like handheld games, like that all just blur together in my mind. Like I can't picture in my mind the difference between Fire Emblem, like default bravely and yeah. uh, Fire. Like I mean, Awakening is really default. good. Yeah, Awakening stand, I think stands on its own. Okay, but, but uh, um, so Metal Gear uh, Rising I think, Revengeance. What is that? A is that another game? Is that another Raiden game? No, that's the Raiden game. That, that's that the is? one. Yeah. That's the that's the sword. Yeah, the sword okay. is there. I mean, it's a it's a spinoff, so I think it falls in the mid mid tier. I but, think so. Um, I, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Injustice and Arma Three. I don't think we can talk about Arma Three. Um, I know nothing about Arma Three. And Injustice. Nope. Sorry, V. Um, Injustice was interesting, but ultimately, I don't. I didn't have as sharks. High. Yeah, Mike. Mike said Fire Emblem was a huge release. I yeah. would take more shark special moves though. Yes. And more sharks. <laughs> we have to nominate that too. Remember that sharks with bows. Okay, Sha- okay, Shadow Warrior, you were you were still flawed. Like I enjoyed, I enjoyed what you were. What's flawed I would have about maybe it? Argued a Shadow Warrior, huh? I would have maybe argued for okay. Shadow Warrior. Yeah, that Warrior. game okay. was stupid. Um, but in comparison, I to could, Blood Did you Dragon. stick with the stupid. wonderful one-on-one? Like I, lo- I love the premise of one, but I didn't. I didn't play. I have only played the demo because I have not gotten the real game to actually work on my Wii. All right. <laughs> do you do you at least appreciate like? That, this is strong. I like this. That I is like a, these. That variety. is a crazy new IP. Like just yeah, that's and, why and I want new more, game play. And I want yeah. more. Like yeah, that, and the, the just the imagine yeah. imagination behind it. Okay, that's what I wanted it God. there for. Okay. Okay. Shit. Why is Call of Juarez on there? I've seen you play because that, that game. Awesome. Is badass. <laughs> these two. <laughs> <laughs> why it's why Is there. that the one where you spent like five minutes trying to jump over that? Yes. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> For the record, did you not run into his. Okay, I do appreciate. Yeah, I, I didn't I did, run into his made-up jump. Puzzle. I do appreciate that kind of um, like Stanley Parable like narration thing that's going on in the game, yes. where the narration it, is, like it changes to what you're doing. In the pacing, the like uh, that game is just tight. It is there is no there's no fluff to it. It's like twenty bucks, get in, get out. Cheap okay, things. Oh, okay. Wild West, great storytelling, great story, great characters. Like they graphically, style's great. It's yeah, I have no, I have nothing bad to say about Gunslinger. So okay. I if, would, you, if you took away the narration, it, it plays. Would it. it be a boring game? Like it was just um, yeah, it was just a Western shooter. Yeah, but the the narration well, plays up the pa- like it's yeah. the still, pacing, and the duels are awesome. Oh man, it it may be more boring, but it's still. I mean, it's as from a first person shooter perspective, it's as tight as a triple A game. Like you controls really well. Yeah. I never felt it like I couldn't hit anything. And the authentic um, uh, the history in the game too, right? Yeah, the history. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Though. I like that they pulled in historical characters hunting down the Sundance kid, Billy the Kid, other kids, well, shooting children. Now that, that we're that talking about Gunslinger, I uh-huh. I reverse what I said about Shadow Warrior about keeping that one. I think, I think it's the weakest of, of the. It's five. the weakest of the group. Yeah, I think it's sure. the weakest of those. Like five. it's got it's got more like uh, more pacing issues. It's harder to. It's not yeah. as fun to play sometimes. Like when it's when it's cooking, it's a it's a blast, but. When it's in the kitchen, sometimes cooking. it's simmering. Shit. I don't fucking. But like if it's in the living room trying to cook, I'm just gut reaction. Nothing. I'd cut revengeance out of these. Revengeance is my argument. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I don't these. understand which one revengeance is. Are you blood dragon, is. Ethan? 
Um, yeah, I'm Blood Dragon for a reason outside of, I mean, within yeah. the mid tier. But I, I think, yeah, I, I've got my reasoning for yeah. Blood Dragon. Were you? Were wait, you... wait, was Far Cry Three mid tier? No, no um, <laughs> I don't. It wasn't, but Blood Dragon. But itself, Blood Dragon is the reason. Well, no, I'll, I, I, I'll, I'll I, 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 once we get down to the yeah. top three, I, I'm and I'm all for the spirit of Blood Dragon for this award. So. Yeah. Um, where are you at, Coop? Uh, I'm I'm between Gunslinger and Payday, actually. Okay. I kind of want Payday in the top. I like Payday. <laughs> I mean, I haven't played Metal Gear, so I. That's what I want. I'm I think I'm alone on that one. So I, I want to fight between Gunslinger and Blood Dragon, but I want Payday in the finals too. Yeah. So, Revengeance. I mean, if if I'm the only one here on Revengeance, I don't think I can persuade. Well, you. Were, what do you, you like, like about you? Were, you're saying Revengeance to win. What do you like about Revengeance? Me personally, yeah. I just like uh, I like the sword play and the just the deviation from what Metal Gear typically yeah. is, and it's it's more action yeah. rather than mean stealth, and mm-hmm. yeah. the the difficulty of it. You take some some skill to learn how to work that sword and like score run through these levels and stuff. And I I would like to see them try this again. Do we cut payday? But I guess in that regard, Payday 2 is a better Payday. Mm-hmm. And so it's like if someone were to ask me, hey, Aaron, what do you want from Payday 3? I don't at this moment know. Because Payday 2 is just so much bigger, I believe, in scope than Payday was. But I liked how Gunslinger was. I can I'd see be, how you I want think more of those. I'd be okay with Cutting Payday. Think, What's that, Ethan? I, I think it's tough. Like I think Revengeance, that the the aspect of it that I think is is interesting is a, a mechanic as opposed to a mid tier spirit. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, they did have. I mean, I, mean, I know it's not the biggest developer, but they did have a budget yeah. that I believe was they blew probably three considerably times. higher than everybody else. <laughs> Seriously. What I like about Payday is it kind of brings back that old, you know, feeling people got when they played Counter Strike. It's just, there there are very few cooperative games like payday which you know mm-hmm. i know we have that category really coming enjoyed, down so like maybe watching you guys play maybe i'm arguing for payday yeah. for the wrong award but that's kind of that's why i liked it it's well when it comes down to it, it it's mm. it's out of all these games what would you want to play more of what would you i mean if they release another one would it be like if there was a payday three would people honestly, be excited honestly, or would they feel, be like ah, i got i got what i wanted out of payday two i look at these maybe. these four and i feel like there's more revengeances out there i feel like there's always this kind of weird action game out there yeah. Um, and and honestly, I didn't play it because I just got done with Devil May Cry, so I'd already kind of got. I my, see what you're saying. My stylist yeah. action game. I'm, I'm still on board with it. Okay. But if if I'm the only one and Dean, <laughs> Dean, then I'm not gonna. I can't make it work. Okay. Okay. So I think I think we're good for Payday being not. Nobody's championing that to win, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm between. I don't. I, I'm on the fence, Ethan. So give me your give well, me your blood dragon. Here's here's how I feel about blood dragon, and here's what blood dragon did. Um, that I think okay. So yeah, it's still a first person shooter. It didn't step outside its comfort zone in terms of that. It didn't introduce any mechanics. But what it did introduce is giving a studio the opportunity to take something that people already liked and work with it. Not unlike what happened with uh, Red Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare, that kind of thing. That is what we need more of because we're allowed to get, and it was also a uh, release on its own. So, I mean, you didn't have to have Far Cry 3 to enjoy this. And it worked, I mean, that worked really, really well. And I think more of these studios, studios spend so much time trying to create these new engines and, and, and redoing everything when they could just take their base game and do something wacky and outside, you know, just just go with it, you know, and do whatever they want. And and that, to me, is better than waiting, you know, three years for a game that feels the same or a year for a game that feels the same, you know. Oh, and so to take some of these engines and work with them and just really have fun with them is going to kind of, in terms of the mid-tier to AAA, it's going to allow us as gamers to enjoy, you know, something that we've already liked, but also not in a, you know, not another military shooter. You know, now we've got this crazy story, and and, and they put effort into it, and there was a lot of, I mean, with the, the people that made Blood Dragon had a good time doing it, and they yeah. didn't sell yeah. it to you for, they could have sold it to you for, they could have made it DLC, make you get Far Cry 3, but they didn't, you know, and I, to me... Um, that sets it apart from from these other two. Not that these other two aren't great, but it's just that spirit. And I want more, not necessarily more Blood Drag, but more games along those those lines. Sure. I'm going to dovetail onto that a little bit. Like, this is one of the reasons I like Majora's Mask so much was, uh, you know, kind of that 
Legend of Zelda de- development cycles, yeah. you know, they put a ton of years in between it, and it's because they keep trying to just completely, you know, same formula, yeah. but completely change the style and all that. But right after, uh, you know, whatever, the Link to the Past, or which one was the 64 one? I can't even think what the... What, Ocarina of Time? Yeah, that yeah. one. I couldn't think of what that name was. <laughs> the, what is um, that game? Well, no, because I love Majora Mass more than Ocarina of Time. But they just, when they got done with that... Well, they didn't need to create all these new assets or anything like that. They just went right back in and, you know, just built a new world with all the existing stuff that they had. So, yeah, I definitely, I wish games had just would do that a lot more. They would just finish their game, their main, and I guess this kind of happened a little bit with just like DLC, like Skyrim, like they did that, uh, they turned around a bunch of times. I'll be honest, I, I don't. I don't have the energy to fight for Gunslinger over over Blood Dragon. Like I like, I think I I personally prefer Gunslinger as the standalone game, and I think that's really neat that it was a uh, it it came out of nowhere. It kind of like pulled a. It was kind of similar in Blood Dragon that it was just this self contained thing that obviously was built off of tech that already existed, but the fact that it was on its own is kind of unique. But um, but I don't know. In the spirit of this award, I still I I'm siding towards Blood Dragon. My only problem with Blood Dragon is, I mean, if we're if we're truly sticking to mid tier game, it's like yes, Blood Dragon was this separate standalone game in a mid tier price range, but it had AAA behind it. I it mean, started as a AAA yeah, game. I mean, if yeah. if Far Cry Three didn't exist, would Blood Dragon have been what it is? Would it have been possible? Yeah, would it would it have been like, possible? Would a mid tier like, so, company made? Far Cry and then been able because I guarantee that Blood Dragon had more money behind it on like the soundtrack side and on the design side and all the promotional side than and the Michael Bean side than, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Than, uh, than Gunslinger ever could have because it's just you know the Call of Juarez franchise just isn't as big as the Far Cry franchise where's your head at Aaron oh well you're, you're all tearing me in both directions, essentially. When Jordan made the Majora's Mask illusion, I was like, I, I get where that was coming from, and I was on board with yeah, saying, Yeah, but oh, even yeah. that's, like, the reason they were able to do that, that's not because they were mid-tier. So, like, yeah, I mean, maybe a yeah. mid-tier game's not but even that's, capable. Yeah. Maybe they're not even capable of doing But that. that's my only argument, because, I yeah. mean, personally, I, I liked Blood Dragon better than Gunslinger. I had more fun with it. But, but. If, if I... I'm trying to give the mid-tier guy a if chance. If you want to be honest, or, yeah, I feel to like the, to I feel like mid-tier. Blood Dragon was a AAA game masked as a mid-tier game. I want more of both. I think that's what's happening. Yeah, it's confusing because the, I mean, the mid-tier does make it confusing because we selected a lot of games that probably weren't necessarily. Mid-tier. But based on and the title, really, I mean, I want more. I want more of Blood Dragon because that game was ridiculous. Do we want to yeah. change the description of what this? List is or I guess no, it's it, still mid tier. I mean, mid tier is the core of it. Okay. So, I mean, I yeah. Or, I mean, the categories are locked, Aaron. <laughs> this is to, yeah. This Where is, is to the key. <laughs> this is to celebrate these games that. Pro- I mean, so let's be honest. We stand a chance actually of seeing more Blood Dragons than we do Gunslingers, because Blood Dragon took was Blood Dragon that? off and put Wonderful One on One One on One back on there. Sure. Yeah, let's get wonderful one on one back. Yeah, there. I mean, if we're talking oh, funding, but if we're talking funding, then I kind of look. Then I look at Payday Two, and I'm like, okay, so do you want more Call of Juarez's, or do you want more Payday Two? That's like, I mean, it's got a great co-op campaign. It's really dense, and it is it is truly a mid tier game that did a lot and has a huge, huge community. I mean, yeah, look at it, Gunslinger like, may have been solid, but I think Payday you, Two is like. How could you have more of Call of Juarez? Just, just another one. Because, like, Payday, you could make the actual, like, the crime, like, setting it up. Like, there's at least enough, like, okay, you're not just going there to the bank. You're doing the Grand Theft Auto Five thing and setting yeah. up the heist, and then you're doing the heist, and then you're getting away from the heist, and then you're, you know, back at the hideout or whatever, splitting the loot. But, like, how, how, are you, how do you have more Call of Juarez? Do you just have another game with a narrator? I don't, I don't a, know where the, the fuck this game came from. Like... <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't know where Blood Dragon came from either, but I don't but, see it as more of I want, I want more sequels to Call okay. of Juarez. I see it as I, I want more games I like to come this. out at this price point that completely blow me out oh, of the okay. water. Standalone, like alone, I got you. Short, but like yeah. a game, a great game like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Being from a middle tier publisher, yeah. like it's not just a western shooter. Yeah, but it's also got this great funny narrative thing. I mean, as I was playing Call of Juarez, I didn't think to myself. Oh, I only paid fifteen. Well, I was. I was it was more of a. <laughs> you were, yeah. I only paid, I only paid fifteen dollars. I only this. played fifteen. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's 
suckers. I would have paid 40. Yeah. <laughs> Got them. <laughs> I mean, I think there are people that would have been completely fine playing that game if it came out on a disc at $60. Okay. What's, what's your pick, Aaron? Three way tie. Okay. <laughs> no, payday. Let's say payday's off the table. Get out of here. Three way tie. Revengeance is back. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was actually ready for you to say, uh, in, that, in that regard, let's bring back Revengeance. I'm still on Revengeance, but I don't know. Would Revengeance be in the same situation as Blood Dragon, where it kind of has help from the Metal Gear series? I feel like Call of War is no. the only one that's truly yeah, mid, I mean, mid-tier. I mean, Call of like War is want, getting no help from its want. previous games. What was that, even? What was that, Ethan? Do what? What would you, what'd no, you say? I was going to say, I mean, if you're looking at these, like if... I'm split because it feels yeah. like two different awards, yeah. and, and I've confused myself on this now. So I mean, yeah, mid tier like yeah. Call of Juarez is the okay. most mid tier of all of them. But I'd hate to vote on it just because it was mid tier. You know what I mean? Because I never even heard of it, and I and I and I, li- I know the idea of it, but I do think that there's a lot of those. I, I think there's a lot of the, just like with the same thing with um, Revengeance. Like those, there's gonna be more of those games made. There's gonna be more small, uh, call you know those moments as well. I don't I. I don't know. It just it's tough there. I, don't, I, feel like I think there will be more of these of, it's more mid-tier. more of these smaller type games. That I don't think they'll be as tightly constructed as Gunslinger is. Like it's so well self contained. Like it's just it just gets in and gets out, and uh, it's it's it was it's kind of rare that it was as um, what's the word just as well put together. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know that they could pull it off again. Right. It's so beefy. It was, so beefy. Were, yeah, <laughs> was so beefy. Uh, oh, I mean, the votes from the site say Blood Dragon, but I also know not everybody played Gunslinger. So, so let's let's talk a little bit about more what makes something mid tier. Is is something? Is it more the price point and what you get, or is it the size of the studio that makes it, or is mid tier simply like you know? Just yeah, because would, would a smaller would a triple A company make a game and then sell it for fifteen dollars? I mean, I, I guess I always look. I, I'm looking at it as did they think this was like a, a big flagship thing to carry them, like as a publisher? Yeah, like, no, this that. is another game we put out. Like, do we mind triple A companies making these mid tier games? Like, just because no, yeah, a triple A company that's made, my question. made a game, does that game does it make it a triple A game? Because it's because far because Blood Dragon is. It's a mid-tier game, yeah. Mm-hmm. But just because it was made by a large, but it had, large yeah. company, like yeah. it wasn't made by. It's, that, but that it's a mid-tier team. game. It's a mid-tier game with AAA guts. I mean, and it it because <laughs> damn it, I'm going back around. <laughs> 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 because I mean, Blood Dragon's target audience isn't everybody. It isn't. It wasn't trying to be. It it wasn't trying to be Call of yeah, Duty no. sales numbers. Like they don't have. They didn't have. Illusions that that would happen. Yeah, they had a they had a like, specific audience for sure with the marketing. I mean, they were tugging at everybody who used to watch those old cartoons. Shit. Do we have <laughs> a vote? If if everyone has to say a game, can we do that? <clears throat> would that decide this? Because I, I yeah, know I what think I would we need say to now. because we're going to be hung. I mean, yeah, the fact I know what I, we're going to be hung up mid tier AAA we'll, stuff. We'll count like, to three I and I then see. everybody say their game. Revenge. Remember me. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, just, New Leaf, take a drink. I feel comfortable with the I'm the go- idea of a AAA company making yeah. a mid tier game. That's why I'm like I'm too, comfortable with that. If getting of leaving Blood Dragon on the table, like I said, I, I would leave Blood Dragon. Yep. So what? What do we leave? leave yeah, it? leaving. Yeah, going leave. with Blood Dragon on this. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll go with Blood Dragon too, just because mid tier. If we're not going to define it on price point or who made it, we're just like the effort. Blood Dragon was truly a mid tier game. Okay. Blood Dragon. Your blood. What? Whoa. <laughs> okay, then never mind. Wait, yeah, no. Ch- no, wait, Call of War has. Yeah. I mean, no, I'm feeling uh, real strong. If, if no, we're, we're good. So, we're yeah, just, I mean, we're with, good. with we're Ethan's. Good. It's okay. With That's Ethan's okay. description. <laughs> no, let me justify. Because I, okay. I did say earlier that I enjoy Blood Dragon more. And my, <laughs> own, my push for guns. My, <laughs> Well, no, I I, I just liked, don't think we needed to have like five minutes. Wait, start all over again, Justin. Put the whole list back on there. My right? my whole hang up <laughs> was we are. my whole hang up was can a AAA company make a mid tier game? Yeah, because that's what I think. Fark, or that's what I think. Blood Dragon, and is. they can't. <laughs> they can't. <laughs> no, we can't include. 
So, Shit. you know. <laughs> We're going to cut this whole All section right. out and just have Ethan saying Blood Dragon yeah. for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the final version of this conversation is actually only two minutes long. <laughs> it's just well, the end. Hey, and Blood, Blood Dragon, Dragon wins the more of these award finalists. It was uh, tough, Payday Blood two. Dragon. You barely made it. <laughs> <laughs> Payday 2 and Call of War Congratulations. Uh, it was a semantics win on that yeah, one. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I had to think about I'm sure. I'm sure butt. that's the, I, the only one we'll have tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it was winning. Then we semantically... Un, we took yeah, it off we list, took it away. But yeah. then, we, it. then we brought it back. And then we brought it back. Yeah. 